Do the first process picking out your blank. And you want to measure it with this tube so you can cut it off. You want to leave just a little bit extra past the tube so you can bring it down to the tube without cutting the tube itself. So what I do is I just, you can draw on this if you wanted to, but I just take a piece of tape, put that baby right on there, and I move it a little bit up in front of the tube to give it some room, and I just mark the tube. Then we take it over here to the saw. Line that baby up. Hold it tight. Don't breathe while you're doing that. <laughs> I don't. Then you have your little blank, which is longer than the tube. Not much, just a little. Now from there, we'll go over and we drill a hole right down the middle of it, baby. We're going to scuff this up with sandpaper, insert it in the hole. Stay tuned. Bring it over here, and we've got our bushings. We've got extra little bushings there just to make it tighten it up. She's on the way. Give her a whirl. She's getting pretty smooth already. And then you just keep working down your sandpaper.
Oh, we have a shortage of sanding. There you go. Everybody loves this one. Then we're going to get into some actual wet thing. These little bad boys with the water. A little paper towel, get everything out of there. Look for some scratches. And I don't see any. But we're still good. We can continue on. Buffer up a little. There she is. Pretty.
back up and straighten this up a little bit. Uh, mounting the blanks. So you have your mandrel here for pins. These are little bushings on here. These are the bushings that I'm using for the acrylic pins. And uh, you mount this on there. You take the other one. Mount it in there. ahead and fill it in a little bit. I like to have that plastic one on the end just because of pressure. I can straighten her down a little better. this in, if you got one of these little bulgers, they come in real handy, they fit right over the end of that, keep it perfect for center, nothing can get away on you, give it a little crank, nice and tight. Maybe you want it a little 45 degrees. Hi, John Peters back again. Some of you have watched my little pin turn video. You'll know that I'm new at this. But uh, I've done some wood pins, some fun lines, and I've done some of these acrylic ones that I've made for Christmas. Now what I've learned is that you usually take your little insert, you measure it on here, you cut it off just above what you need. Then you drill your hole through. I put it in the vise, I put it on a drill press. I've even bought one of these little bogies. Studies it up. These are great, by the way, as far as getting a hole straight through the metal. But what I have learned is that you do not want to drill your hole all the way through the middle. You'll get blow up. you blow the end right out of your hole. What you want to do is measure your drill Drill down past where you need to be. Don't drill it all the way out the other side so it blows out. Then take it to the cut off saw or the band saw and cut it off and you hold already through it. This will save you a ton of material and you won't get all these little blowouts and stuff all the time and ruin the piece that you're working on. Second thing I've learned is that read your instructions. I burnt a couple of pens because I was too stupid enough to read the instructions. Read your instructions, put the pen together accordingly. Uh, I've just used a regular little wood clamp to put them together as far as uh, press and whatnot. Works great, but you got to read the instructions because once you put one of them pens together and you haven't read the instructions, boom. You can't get the thing back apart hardly at all without ruining the pen. Uh, third thing is, when you're on the actual lathe, when you're doing acrylic, try to keep your uh, tool at a 45 degree angle when you come across and make your shavings and everything come out a lot better. When you go straight in, like you would on woodworking and whatnot, it tends to chatter and chip a little bit. So keep her at a 45 degree angle, it works out great. Hope this helps a little bit, it's just some of the mistakes I've made that I've passed on. Thanks. And here's some of the pens that I made out of acrylic. Got the female pens, pretty nice in design. Not too shabby. 
Let me come down to the mail pins. We got two different designs. We got the buck bolt action. Looks like a bullet. And we have a rifle. Looks like a bullet. It's also bolt action. And we have the maintenance pins. We got the little wrenches on. The bolt at the top. I just thought you'd like to see the pins. See you next time.